What up, film lovers? It's your man Rex Walls with a breaking news movie update from the real players. First thing, Marvel decided to break the internet yesterday when news leaked that Zendaya will be playing Mary Jane in the upcoming film Spider-Man Homecoming. James, I need to know what you think about this, man. Talk to me. First, I want to say I think it's great news. Marvel's breaking out with more diversity. I see where they're going with this. She's hot. She can act. And she's about to be in one of the biggest movies Marvel is producing. Well, I'm all for it because I have a girl crush on Zendaya. I mean, I've liked her since her Disney career. And also, I really like her because she turned down the Aaliyah biopic, which was a mess. It was trash. So she makes good decisions, obviously. Me and my daughter watch KC Undercover all the time, so... I'm all the way on board with it. I think she's hot, just like James said. She's a pretty thing, and uh, she can definitely act. So kudos to Marvel for uh, bringing some more diversity out here. Cass, next up in movie news, you hit us up earlier this week with this trailer for Moonlight. I keep hearing about it and seeing it on the Internet from more than just you, so let us know what you think. What's going on with this whole Moonlight thing? The story is actually a play that's called In Moonlight, Black Boys, look blue, which I thought was interesting. So when I saw the trailer, I fell in love. Oh my God, it is such a good trailer. It has that documentary type feel. The score coupled with the montage of scenes that they used was perfect. It invoked emotion almost instantly from the jump. I think it, the film is gonna be groundbreaking because homosexuality in black males is such a taboo subject. A lot of people saw it as being a radical depiction of modern masculinity. That's how it was noted. I feel like it's great. I mean, it. it I want to see it really bad. And also, Janelle Monae's in it, and I love her, too. We'll check that out, and um, we'll definitely do a Real Players review on it. And speaking of Real Players reviews, I want to throw this out there. Our mission statement kind of has been so far to review the most popular mainstream movie of every weekend and you know we had 10 weeks in a row and we're still going strong but we also kind of want to add in some more of the independent films and we don't want to just always go mainstream big blockbuster so with that being said check out the real players because we we're going to switch it up a little bit every once in a while so don't get mad at us if we don't go check out you know the newest marvel movie when we go see some at indie theater you never heard of you feel me? Moving on in movie news, Bad Boys 3, which is now Bad Boys for Life, has got pushed back from June 2017 to January 2018. The thing I thought that was most interesting about this is Joe Carnahan, which is the director, first stated that this is quote unquote the strongest script out of all the Bad Boys movies. But at the same time, he's also saying, and this is a quote, we couldn't all get in a room, go through this thing, and really ring it out. I'm a big believer in do the work at the script level until you got something you know works. That everyone is happy with, the stars are happy with, the director is happy with, the studio is happy with. So it was confusing to me for him to say we have the strongest script out of all three movies, but we're going to push it back six months because everybody's not agreeing on it. I know everybody's looking out for this Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life, and I am too, but it's something we should keep an eye on. It looks like it's a little turmoil going on with the Bad Boys franchise. And then finally, we have some Will Ferrell and John C. Riley news. What's going on, Jay? Yeah, Will Ferrell and John C. Riley in talks to making a new Sherlock movie. The, they're staring the route for Robert, Robert Downey Jr. and Jude Law's Sherlock series. And they're going the more comedic route, more raunchy route. It's coming from director Eaton Cohen. It'll be interesting to see how they, they take this little outlook on these two characters. It's crazy, this generation we're living in. We're living in a double reboot world. I mean, we, have, <laughs> we already have a Sherlock Holmes franchise, and now we're getting another one. Just like The Jungle Book. We just had a Jungle Book come out this year, and there's a Jungle Book coming out next year. Not only are we in the reboot generation, but we are in the double reboot generation now, people. <laughs> real players. <laughs> yeah, we're the real players. We'll come back next week with some more movie news, and this is what it is. Real players, real spill.
Two times. Right.